Tools. Today we're featuring the Snap-on Coolant System Refiller, part number SVT-SRAD-272A. Here's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and show how we use it. Now we put the tool onto the adapter, make sure it's locked down good. Both of these valves on top are shut. Yes, it does suck. It sucks the air out of the system and the coolant into the system. So we put our hose into the bucket. Then we're gonna put three gallons, in this case, into the bucket of coolant. This is some gold coolant. There are different colors of coolants for different vehicles. We're using gold in this one. I like putting it in a bucket like this. That way you don't get air in it trying to switch it to another coolant jug. So we just fill it up. Then we gotta go get the air hose. Now we'll put the hose on the adapter. Flipped in, turn it on. So this is gonna suck vacuum into the, out of the cooling system. It's getting all the air out of the system. Similar to how you would chart, do the AC evac and recharge. We're evacuating the cooling system in this one. There are other tools to do this one. This is a snap-on one. And on this gauge, it seems to go down to around 25 inches of vacuum. You just do it until it levels out and stabilizes. Looks like that's about as far as it's gonna go. So the air should be out of the cooling system. We turned our air hose off. And we open the suction valve. Now it's sucking in the coolant. Make sure the valve's open. And our hose is all the way down. It's sucking the coolant back into the cooling system. The engine and the hoses, the radiator, everything's filling up with coolant now. Sometimes you gotta pick the hose up a little bit so it doesn't suction to the bottom of the bucket. So you can see the gauge coming up. Make sure the hose is in the right position. Still getting fluid to go in. Here we do the same way this way. Wait for the gauge to stabilize and we know that it's pulled all the coolant back into the vehicle that it's gonna do. Once that's done, we'll shut our valves, take off the hose, and remove the coolant refiller. After this, I like to get the spill-free funnel, and here's the adapter for that. Put that on, tighten it up. And put our funnel on. And fill it with coolant. Another good way is to put the coolant from the bucket in here. I'm just using a jug. After that, we make sure the rest of the air is out and run the vehicle. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.